Pioneer. Yo, what is going on guys? EJ here, bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise to War video. Today guys, we're going to be checking out the new event that just came out. The Marthom Item Exchange. It's a part of the big one year anniversary. It's out for limited time from the 21st until the 1st of October guys. So yes, that's the 21st of September to the 1st of October UTC time. You can see it in game. So basically you just go to this section here and it's called the Peddler's Special Exchange. Uh, the Peddler's up there with his uh, nice fuzzy hair and everything saying hi tactician. Now you can exchange a piece of your exquisite or flawless, so purple or gold armor on the good or evil alignment side and for a random piece of equipment of the opposing alignment. So this is really good for the people, especially that are playing the mixed RP servers or the non-RP servers. And they're just trying to start unlocking some evil characters and stuff like that or commanders. And they'd like to try to get some more gear, vice versa. So as you can see, you'll be able to do three gold attempts and pur purple of five. Now, um, I've got some equipment. I don't really focus on evil a lot, but now that I'm going to be playing a lot more non-RP in that, I've got to start thinking about getting some evil commanders, and I do want some gear and things. And they can work on the good side commanders as well, because um, you can do that mix of troops. And the evil side has a lot of really good equipment. So if I show you right now, I've got some gear here. Um, that we're going to be able to trade up some on the good side and evil side um, But I have this um, Palantir of Orthanc, um Which doesn't have the right things I really want here and like it does it's all right But I want to trade it up if I had pursuit. I would keep that um, But yeah, I have a lot of um evil purple of uh, weapons here that we want to trade up as well So we're gonna be trying them up as well Some of these don't show up as well, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. It's quite odd So I don't know about too much about that sorry um so maybe because there, it's already available to every single kind of race in the game maybe but yeah but let's get into it guys by the way i'd love to hear feedback on what you think about this exchange event if this is something you'd like to see more of in the game please leave a comment in the comment section below guys um, i'll be reading all those and i think some of the developers are going to be checking it out as well so yeah Definitely leave a comment there guys about what you think about this event because they want to get some great feedback from this All right, all right, so let's get into it. Shall we so? Let's go to it again. My mind just went completely blink uh, There it is and let's go up to the exchange event So we'll do our purples first so as you can see I had that cleave um, The actual cleave before the actual Kazakh doom, but it doesn't show up here so um, it shows some of my equipment, but not all of it. So I guess the Axe of Kazak Doom and, and that knowledge box don't show because it's already fully available to every race. But yeah, okay, so we'll start off with the evil. Um, so we can put this in, which is the shield. How do I put it in? I just click it like that. I go, okay. And it's going to give me a random piece um, from the good side, guys. So Hip Lane, Hobbit Fiddle, Harp of Lothlorien. Warhammer, Elven Dirk, Mirkwood Bow, Battle Axe, Scout's Mail, Scout Mail again, Scout Mail I should say. You do have a chance to get Superior Hoylberg, so I really do like this. Okay, there is a couple of really good things I'd love to get in this. So let's exchange it and see how we go, guys. Bang. Okay, we get a Hobbit Fiddle with the Army Speed. Interesting. Alright, let's go to the next one. So, is this going to be classed as evil or good? Because it can be used for nearly everyone. So, let's do the carver just to see what it show, it's going to show. It's going to show the evil side. Okay. Alright, well that's interesting. I will do that one just to see what we come up with. Oh, well we got a bone mask which is uh, can be used on both sides. So, that's fine. We'll take that. Um, let's scroll down. We do have a, a couple more evils that we want to do. So we're going to do this Urukai Broadsword here. Oh, we get a Firecracker. Uh, the Fireworks with enemy mounted damage. I'd love to get one of those with Pursuit. And let's go with another evil one. Put that in. And exchange that one. 
Okay, well, we get a full helm, which we already have, but it has men vigor. Okay, that's interesting. Um, because I was thinking about changing the stats on my full strength on one at the moment. And that may be very useful. I'll give you a quick idea what I'm talking about. I think it's on... One of, I've got it just thrown here somewhere at the moment. So I have uh, Remotivate here at the moment. So Men Vigo could be a lot better. So yeah, that's very interesting, guys. Very interested in that one there, to say the least. All right, let's do our last purple piece. Um, I just want, We're probably going to put a Carver in there. Um, and just let's have a quick look at the evil because we didn't have a look fully so you can get the crossbow the broadsword the spear The bones talman the drums of moria Merkwood bow battle axe scouts mail scout mail you can get the superior hauberk as well Horseman's helm bone so you can get um a pretty good mixture there as well Okay, we get the Merkwood bow with allied range units damage. So not bad there to say the least now with the Beautiful flawless gold equipment. We're going to start off. Let's go and put this evil palantir in here first and see what we can get from the good side. So we can get Elven Cloak, Night Star, Noldor Sword, the Silver Harp of Rivendell, the uh the Dawn, the Lang, the Plate of the Citadel, Durin's Plate, Swan Helm, High Elf's Helmet, Iron Bassinet, La Florian Belt, Hammer of Moria, Manic of Thine Hills, High Elf Horberg, and Erebor's Pride. Alright, let's see how we go. Come on. Okay, we get the Hem of Moria. Nice. With Might of Dwarves, which um, increases the amount of damage done by Dwarves. So, not too um, shabby there. Let's uh, put one of the uh, good ones in. So, let's put this in. Because then I might get an evil one that I don't want, and I can trade it back for a good one. I think we will get rid of this one. It's pretty good, but oh, I might keep that actually and get rid of the elven, um, the elven cloak. So we can get the drums of Baradur here, the Morgul Blade, Nightfall, the Spear, the Palantir, the Black Mace, the Reckoning, Eastern Helm, Black Bow, Signet of the Barrows, Berserker's Gauge, Berserker's Riament, War Helm. That's pretty good. All Thanks Delivery, Great Plate of the Eastern Bone Armor. Okay, so all evil ones. Okay, we get that helmet. Oh, I accidentally clicked off it, so let's quickly just go out and have a quick look at that. Okay, so Commander's Might. So this is going to increase Might by a lot. Armies attack, you require plus one. Uh, shock, first one round. All enemies, 10% chance to inflict stun each round. Okay, so it's really good for stun. Interesting. Um, but we're probably going to trade it back for a good side one now. We're going to go vice versa. So let's go back in, and I think it'll be our last exchange. Yes, yeah, so this will be our last exchange. So we're going to ex uh, exchange this back and see if we can get something really good from the good side, guys. Um, if there was anything... Oh, there's a lot of good things I'd want there, but I don't know. Let's just see what we get. Come on. Swan Helm. Okay. First three rounds, allied commander's damage plus 5%. That's really good. Uh, increases army defense for men, focus of might. Okay, I'll take that. A swan helm. And that's exchange limit reach, guys. So, yeah, that's the exchange event. Uh, pretty interesting. So, some of the new stuff. So, I got the fiddle, uh, the bone mask, and the helmet. Nothing too much that I really wanted in the purple. Now, I did like the idea of it, guys, being evil um, to good and good to evil, but... I'd also maybe like the option where you can just have a choice where it's just complete random or you can get good for good gear as well, guys. Um, because some people only focus on the good or evil side. But yeah, vice versa, I think it's a pretty good feature. Sometimes you might be able to get super lucky. Some of the items don't work in there. I don't know why they don't show up. Like, for example, this grey wizard hat and the axe of Kazakh Doom. I don't know why. I'm thinking maybe because all the races going to reuse it. But I know a lot of these... Um, but the bone mask can be used as well, so I'm not 100% sure on that, guys. But yeah, we're going to wrap it up there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, peace out, EJ's out. And I'll catch you guys later. See yous. Zombies, then time.